हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मनीषा जयसवाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन एन सी सी एन सी के ठाकुर कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ इंडियन आर्मी विच इज वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर ऑल एन सी सी कैडेट्स सो अवर टॉपिक इज बेसिक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ आर्म फोर्सेस सो हु एवर इज in enroll in ncc in army wing for specially for in army wing for that for all that cadets this topic is very helpful so let's learn what is it's in basic organization how the armed forces is uh, running so first of all as a cadet of ncc it is very important to understand the basic organization of india army at macro level level we all know that uh, uh, in after independence there were many uh, wars happened between other com- uh, countries so india army plays very important role to save us to secure our country so we should know how indian army works how what are the head level how the sequence of the army is done because if you are in ncc after your gaining c certificate you will uh, you are aspirant of uh, to join indian army so you should know every aspect uh, if you see as the interview level in ssb if you go there are also the officers or gtos will ask you the question uh, what uh, what are the commands how the organization form of indian army so at look at the command and control structure shows how finally it has been tuned to meet india's threat per perception based on the major wars it has fought and the present day geopolitical scenario so after wars uh, and now the present scenario of the indian army we should know very well so the this lecture will be conduct in the following parts first is command and control and the second part is headquarters and formation of headquarters let's start with the first part okay the first part is command and control the president of india is the supreme commander important this is important supreme commander of the all armed forces of the country okay so we know uh, if we uh, recall then we we know the country's pm is one of the head of our country to rule but in indian army president of india is the supreme commander okay so every um, uh, what we can say that every uh, rules or policies or any decision uh, if i have to make for country then president of india play a very important role in that okay now i will ask you a question who is the present president of india i hope you know because this is a we should know is as a aspirant of indian army let's i'll tell you who is the president of india current president of india is dropati murmu who is now in currently president of india so as i as uh, we learn that president of india is supreme commander so every decision what have to take for indian army president of india dropati murmu will take okay so first point is clear next we'll go now after president of india who plays the important role okay so the chief army of staff is the head of indian army and is responsible for the command training operations and administration so i'll take uh, i'll give you one example for let's take example of college so in college who is the head first principal then the teachers uh, professors then uh, non teaching staffs are there and the students right this are the sequence so same is indian army or any any office and we can say there is a head then sub head like that so first is we learn that president of india is the head and next is the chief army staff okay chief army staff is the head of indian army and is responsible for for, for commanding for training for operations and administration he carries all out this functions through army headquarters of the 1.1 million strong force we know that our indian army is uh, comes in third rank in all over 
the world our army stand in third rank so our population 1. Point, from our population 1.1 million strong force is comes under the chief army staff okay the next is the number of staff officer assist him such as now who assist the chief army staff under that such as principal staff officer psos head of arms and services etc there are many more and a chief vice chief and deputy chiefs of army staff handle coordination now as i said the president a uh, president of india is draupadi murmu now we the, the next thing is we have to learn is the chief army staff of india president who is the president chief army of army staff he is none of, none of them is a chief army staff general major pandey you can see the image here so this is one of the important person we can say who save our country who make decisions for our indian army so currently is general major pandey this all is important as per gk expect also and uh, actually uh, we are citizen of india and now you are studying ncc we should know all all this important uh, chief of army staff okay uh, now this is a uh, general major pandey uh, i would students i would like to know from you you can uh, write in comment section that uh, who is ex chief army staff of indian army i want to know that and uh, after chief of army staff there is a head of indian army who is the head of indian army and who is the ex chief of army staff so you can write in comments whoever know the answer okay next we'll go further is headquarters and formation of headquarter first we have uh, learned about the command commanders who head the our indian army now we'll in second part we will see the headquarters and formation headquarters okay so our headquarters is divided into seven commands okay first is northern western central southern su southwestern and east it's divided into seven seven commands seven command headquarters okay so the command headquarter exercises operational responsibilities okay the command headquarter exercises operation responsibility all operation responsibility is come under this seven command it's commanded by an officer of the rank lieutenant general called army commander as we see our indian army is uh, commanded by who president of india then chief indian army now this command headquarters is um, Uh, who takes responsibility lieutenant general called army commander okay now we will see this commander in uh, as a image perspect see you can see this first is we'll go from north to south okay first is northern command it's udhampur okay it's in jambu you can see it's in udhampur the next is in shimla which we call army training command okay the next is chandri uh, chandi mandir is in western command okay then we'll come down it's south western command okay then central command is in lucknow 1 2 3 4 5 and then is in west bengal it's eastern command okay and next last is southern command it's in pune command so we have total seven indian army commands i hope this is clear headquarters of command you know you should know all these seven command where it situated and the place like if we say very southern command you can say in maharashtra but where in maharashtra you should know it's in pune next if a uh, question arise central command it's in up in up where lucknow okay so you have to remember all this command okay next we'll go for fighting arms fighting arms under fighting arms first is armor okay now the you will you should know that what is armor when we uh, say fighting arms what is mean by fighting arms who who is who is in front line and secure our country okay it's a very big thing when you complete your ncc then you will um, go for opt for ssb if you crack your ssb then of course you will join indian army and you should know where to join suppose you are pursuing for doctor right 
when you pursuing for doctor then uh, what you do you will do mbbs mabs and you forgot doctor but in, in if you are going for doctor is there only one doctor no if you go for uh, teeth so you go for dentist right as you you want to be a uh, eye specialist you study for eye specialist right so there so there are different different section is divided same is in army also divided so we will see in next lecture what are the fighting arms of indian army thank you